Uh, there's four in this, including Elena Pautova, who has won just about every title going in this 1500 meters. She's the European Paralympic and world champion right now. And T12s, she's looking for another gold medal. It's been uh, six years since she's been beaten in a championship race, and here she is. T12s can go with a guide or without a guide if they need to. She feels she doesn't need one because she wins an awful lot. 4.36 at personal best. Also here, Maria Fiusa of Portugal. Xiao Campos is her guide, finished fifth in the 1500 meters last year in Leon of the World Championships. Pinar Keres of Turkey. Alongside Mohamed Magur Sakir, we've seen a lot of her this week. And Maria del Carmen Paredes. Alongside a guy, Lorenzo Sanchez Martin of Spain. Strike file in this. Pads of us won a, a huge amount down through the years. Six golds during her time, four bronzes, two Paralympic Games titles over this distance in 2004 and 2012 in Athens and London. And the last time she was beaten a championship race, 2008, six years ago, she's already out the front. Will she stay out at the front? For a good chance she will. It's Elena Pautova of Russia without the guide and those with guides, Maria Fiusov. Portugal, Pinar Kellers of Turkey, Paredes of Spain, and Mikhail. Well, a lot of guiding needing this, but there's one woman who doesn't need one, and she is looking good already. Well, yeah, she's got bags of experience of obviously running on her own, and we've got the athletes behind it there, guys, as well. And um, I know from seeing her on the circuit um, from when I started, and she's just dominating in a usual fashion. Um, it's interesting to see the guys um, who are being guided behind you and looking at their technique. Obviously, as a guide myself, um, they all seem to be um, sticking together. She's absolutely firing away. Uh, three laps to go, and she leads by what? 60, 70, 80 meters. She's way out in front. Yes, and she it's looks comfortable as well. Doesn't she? Just Paredes is coming through now in second place. And in third is Fuiza of Portugal. A little bit back, 30, 40 meters back, is Keres of Turkey in fourth place. But Pautov is absolutely rocking away with it at the moment, leading by about 100 meters, I'd say, over in the back straight. She's two and a half laps to go, and the rest have got just about three. She won the gold in this in Lyon last year, and in London 2012, and in the last European Championship in the Netherlands, back in 2011 in Christchurch in the Worlds, and 06 in Assen in the Worlds, and 04 in Athens. She's used to winning, she looks really good, she's been winning major titles since the age of 18, and it doesn't really look as if anybody is going to stop her right now, to be honest with you. She's looking really good, Miguel. Definitely, I mean, bags of experience, really, as I said. And she just looks so comfortable when she's running. I mean, it's, um, for me, look at her technique. She's in full control there. Um, even her stride pattern, she doesn't even seem to be running um, flat. She's, she's constantly on her toes. Which, if you look at the other athletes, they're, 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 they're running quite flat. But again, this could be down to experience. And, you know, being out so far out ahead, you know, she's, she's, she's definitely focusing on her own race. Well, the way she's going, she might actually start lapping people by the time we're done. I'm just looking around the track. We might actually only have three left, just having a little look around, because well back in second is Fuiza, and in third for Spain is Paredes, and I'm not sure where Kellis of Turkey has gone. Kellis has pulled out, so there's all three on the track are going to win a medal one way or another, and Pautova is going to take the gold. Uh, she's going to have the bell greeting it in around 150 metres time. She's way out in front here, really superb athlete in this discipline. And there's three T12s in this, two of them going with guides. Pautova not feeling she needs one, and she is well, well out in front. Pautova leading really strongly here. And the bell is on the way as well, Miguel. She's starting to actually pick up as well. I think by the time she gets to the bell, in her usual fashion, definitely the arm will start to be pumping even quicker. See, here we go. Just on time. Uh, she's doing it. She looks really impressive as well. She went through in around 3.28, 3.29. And that is really quick. 
I mean, as you know, IAAF women's 1500 meter running's going, that's not bad. You see a few races that'll be slower than that. Oh, she's way, way, way out in front, at least half a lap, and if maybe you, more. Yeah, and if you see, she's not even slowing down. She's actually pitching it up. It's like a time trial for her. If she keeps going like this, she might just lap the third place by the end. The bell now for Fuiza. And behind is Paredes of Spain in third place. He's jogging along with a guy, Lorenzo Sanchez Martin. And behind them by about, I don't know, 100 meters or so, here she comes, Pautova, looking so crisp. And she's so kicked again, she's kicked again. There we go, at one ten to go. She's striding straight into the home straight there. There's no slowing her down. Definitely pass above the rest here. Probably real, getting behind her. Real time trial, real popular winner as well. Look at this coming home. It's going to be a really fast time. It's not world record pace, but hey, 4:39 will do, and it's gold for Elena Pantova. And that was, well, I have to say, quite easy for her, eh? Exhibition run. That was exhibition. That was a time trial, and she's the champ by a long 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 way it's another goal for Russia that's number 39 for them now second place looking back it's uh, Maria Fuiza of Portugal alongside Xiao Campos Fuiza uh, at Christmas time will turn 42 and Paredes in third place is 51 wow. Kellez, I'm afraid pulled out something happened along the way Pouts of it. nothing happened to her apart from the fact she was very very fast Squeeze is coming through, it is the silver for her, and it's going to be the bronze medal for Paredes when she comes back and greeted immediately on the line by our champion Elena Pautova. And now in the closing straight is Paredes of Spain, who's going to jog home, and she won't know yet, she doesn't know what's been happening behind it, but it is going to be a bronze medal for Paredes of Spain. Nice achievement. She's outside her personal best, but she's a medalist anyway. She picks up the bronze. Obviously, there was some little problem along the way for Kellez because she went out very early indeed, but it was a really good victory for Elena Pautova and nice little jog around. Well, actually, more than a jog around. She did a really fast, something like 4.39 or thereabouts, which was fantastic. Definitely, as you look at the replay there, you can just see her arms really working. She's driving towards the line. Yeah, definitely a time trial for her. And I think one of the biggest things is when you're coming into a competition and you know that you're in great form, um, bags of experience, as I've said, you know, definitely an exhibition run there for her. I'm sure she'll be pleased with that. Well, it was 4.39.87, which was just outside her season's best. And Pautova, who hasn't been beaten at a championship race in six years, picks up another big medal here. The European champion, 4.39.87, with Fuiza of Portugal second and Paredes of Spain in third. Of Portugal second and Paredes of Spain in third.